Gaming, uh, bringing you a modded Let's Play of some Minecraft. Uh, we have over 84 mods in this uh, mod pack, and we're not going to tell you about them. You're just going to have to watch the Let's Play and kind of see what all we've involved. Um, but they're not tiny mods. I mean, we do have some smaller mods, but most of these are huge, game-changing. I mean, you could call you know half of them overhauls in their own right. Um, but we're going to dig into it. Uh, this first episode is going to be about us making a drivable boat and finding a landmass because we seem to have spawned on a very small island. We got a village over there and a village right next to us over there. So we'll go explore those as well. And I'm joined here today with uh, Zachula. Say hi, Zach. Hey, what's up? And let's uh, let's get into it. I seem to find a chest right here at the start. Yeah, there's apples in here for me. Damn. Look okay, so I know. guess uh, what I'm going to do for my first mission is uh, do the Sky Village. Hey, do you want the crystal wing? Uh, you know what? We uh, what we should do is actually talk about each mod as we kind of run into it, from what okay. we know so far anyway. I got an achievement. Because what, 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 what is the crystal wing mod do you know a little bit more about it than I do so the crystal wing from what I've seen it's, uh, it's supposed to be a craftable item it's supposed to be pretty hard you know it not like a beginning item and you you uh, build it and you uh, you right click with it and it's supposed to take you to your spawn point but uh, it, stuff can go wrong like if you overuse it it can catch fire catching the person holding it on fire and you have to throw it out of your inventory as fast as you can Oh, and then you, if you want to keep it, you have to figure out a way to cool it down. And it, stuff, other other stuff can happen, like it can break from overuse. And then if you still use it, it can, uh, it'll put you out in the. It'll put you, uh, like it can take you anywhere. That's pretty cool. This is like one of my favorite ones right here. Watch this. Oh yeah, rain in the wood. Hey, do you mind talking a little louder? Uh, just yeah. no, totally. A little cutting out on mine. I say, cause I think you're actually talking too loud, cause you're creating an echo. I am. Yeah. Now this is deforestation at its best. Yeah, this mod right here, we got a, uh, I believe it's forestry. And it makes no, this it... is a tree capacitor. Oh, tree capacitor. I'm sorry. Uh, sa same thing, but yeah. It well, yeah. It's like, from what I see, it's like an updated version of uh, the timber mod for the old versions of Minecraft. But this also breaks the leaves, which I remember right. The timber mod did not. Well, uh, Zakula, I got the wood harvesting. Can you go to each of the surrounding villages and kind of see what what they have to offer? Sure, I'll go scope it out. Because hopefully Luckily. they have some iron. We we need iron. Luckily, I have some planks to build thy boat. We need thy iron. Oh, as you guys can see right there, that's a Doron. Uh, guys are from the Zelda Sword mod. They uh, they act just like uh, tr uh, just regular uh, villagers, except they're like mixed with iron golems. So if they see anyone attacking one of their villagers, they'll fight back. So they actually defend themselves. That's that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, and the other villagers. Oh, look at that! I found a chest. I got a uh, skeleton skull. Some knowledge fragments and the Thaumonomicon. Oh, and two glass bottles. Now I'll leave them in their chest. I wanted to strip their city, you know. 
take that too, that lantern. We will take everything. We will be Viking Raiders. Well, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. And if you guys hear that no growling, you probably notice that we do have mo creatures, which just adds a huge assortment of uh, different animals, different uh, different creatures, monsters. I mean, all kinds. So you might notice that there's a, uh, you know, village weird out here, you know, out in the water. We got a few mods for villages, like uh, some add more villagers and more types, you know, little farms. Oh, crab. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot to do actually is I need to go from peaceful to hard because we oh, only yeah. play on hard. Well, now that we're on hard, I mean, we'll probably die uh pretty pretty quickly here so uh probably probably get back here look at that Zacula. another mo uh, mod makes it so if you're holding the emerald the villagers try to come to you and if your emerald hits the ground they'll take it which is oh, pretty awesome. already getting attacked what is that oh, I'll piranha i'll say hey get to the uh get get to the top here and uh well, we'll burrow in for the night. Okay, I'm here with you. Okay, I do, I do have a shovel for you. You might notice how there you the... Go. Thank you. There's like grass and everything on the ground. You know, not normal Minecraft grass. That's the... And the leaves, how they're all shaggy. That's the... Oh, and the coral in the water. And we also have uh, dynamic lights. So that means any light source, say like if you have a torch, see as I'm walking, it's it's a light source. Also if I drop the torch, it now becomes a light source on the ground. So pretty cool. So Zach, let's uh, let, let's burrow down here. Okay. But as I was saying, the coral and the leaves and the grass, that's all from the better or er, foliage mod. Crap, I need to get a, a pick. Oh yeah, I have a wood one. Oh, actually, I have a, I have a stone ah. one. I don't know how I missed that. Get in there. Get in there. All right, all right. We have to dig lower. Dig. Okay, let me grab my shovel. Or just get out of my way. Get out of my way. Move. Okay, go, go. So we have uh, some uh, better zombie mods that overhauls the zombies. It's, uh, I believe it's called, hot, or what is that called? That's, uh, oh, Zombie Awareness. Zombie Awareness. Yeah, just, uh, what, what exactly does it do to the zombies? I know it makes them, uh, group up, makes them be far more aggressive. Uh, yeah, it makes them more aggressive. Uh, if you get hurt at all, or if any other mobs, they, they, they uh, they aggro to get hurt, They'll, you know, and they'll sense the blood from a far away. And if you're mining, they'll come to the noise. Check it out. There's some other little things it does too. Now, what we need to do is find some iron. We can't make the ship's helm, um, and the ship mod we're playing with is Archimedes ships. We can't make that until we have one piece of iron. Oh. You want to tell them about uh, how these blocks here, how we can hit them and then walk away and hit them again and they'll break? Yeah, that is, uh, so as you mind, you know, normally on Minecraft, if you slip off the block, then, you know, all this goes away. Uh, but what you have now is as you hit it, it retains that amount of damage. So I can start mining this one. Oh, I didn't mine through it so fast. Um, and it, it'll just slowly be put together. It'll just slowly heal, slowly heal until there's nothing, uh, like you never touched it. So that way we can kind of zip between. I can hear it raining outside. And Sounds uh, like it's going to be a bad. And you guys also probably noticed there's a, uh, a little stat bar next to the pick on the bottom left of my screen. Uh, that's just one of the um, status effect buttons. So it'll, it'll tell you how many... Uh, once we get, acquire some armor here, it'll show us uh, how many hits your or how much go. Help me out here, Zacula. How much life your items? Yeah. Have. 
There you go. Sorry. Also, uh, you might see there's on each side of our toolbar there's three extra slots. That's for uh, for an extra mod we got called Mine and Blade too. Definitely Pretty one of yeah, definitely one of my favorites we added. You can dual wield. You can have uh, you know a one handed and a shield. Uh, does it have the capes part? No, I don't know. Uh, heck. It'd be pretty cool if it did. No, it does not. But it does have six slots. So it means you can have... There's three slots for... For, uh... I, for six slots for items, but three, like, saved slots. Like an RPG. Like, I'll put my pick right here. And I wonder if I can dual wield my... No. You can dual wield a lot of items. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do like sword and pick, right? Yeah. Oh, I got some. I goes in tight. I got some weird kind of uh, ore here that I just destroyed, and I guess I need iron for to destroy and acquire that. That sucks. It's like a weird blood red ore. Weird. Have you tried this one right here? Oh. You... I mean, we have we have so many mods on this that we don't even know what everything goes to. I mean, some of them are just so extensive, you can't, uh, you can't really get an idea of what they are until you dive into them. Hey, have you tried getting this We've one? struck iron! Right up here. Ah, uh, hang on, let me, let me just bask in this moment. I don't know if you guys can- What the- Oh, god damn it! I help, get I'm it! Get it! Get it! Use your pick. My pick broke. Oh my gosh, so if you look on the right of my screen, um, those are a couple of effects that helps with the status effect, and if you saw, if I like look at Zacula here, the top left of my screen tells me what he is, how much life he has, uh, just stuff like that. So that thing that just popped out, that was a Geo Knock. It's pretty much an, uh, if you've ever played any of the Elder Scrolls, you know, there's a Flame Atronome, uh, you know, uh, an Ice one, a Storm one, that kind of stuff. So that was a Geo one. So whenever you mine coal, uh, any kind of ore, there's a chance when you break the block that one of those will spawn. So, I mean, not even mining in a hole is safe anymore. Oh, you're bleeding everywhere. Yeah, that guy, uh, he, he beat me up pretty bad. Oh, God. They also spawn from, uh, if you've ever, uh, you know, if you're farming or cutting down trees, there's, uh, one for each of those, a plant one. And I believe there's a water one, and if it's raining, there's storm ones. Now, I think there's a jungle one too, right? Yeah. I got uh, three nether quartz from killing him. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got myself a stone pick. Nice. Let's see. Nice. I can actually see your other pick uh, on your on your tool belt there. That's that's pretty uh, cool. That's pretty cool. That's battle gear. So let's uh let's get some of this stuff of brewing here. You wanna throw that ore in the furnace? Sure. I'll start getting some of this stuff put together. So that ought to be enough planks, perhaps, maybe. Put a little more in. I don't think that'll uh work with seven ore. There you go. Now let's fill it up. Are you wearing the uh, nice nah, skeleton skull for a helmet? I like yeah, it. Yeah, uh, make us a little unique. We're currently playing on LAN, so since we're not connected to the internet, we're both Steve. Yeah, you don't get to keep your uh, your skins unless you're connected to online. I'm gonna throw a couple of things in this, in this chest here, like the crystal wing, quartz, flint. Oh, it's uh, daytime. Daytime? Alright, well, let's get out there. Let's, let's do it. Let's see, give me that stone axe. So, uh, I'm gonna start production on the ship. If you can uh, go to those villages and harvest any crops that they have. Yeah. We'll get some seeds together, whatever crops they have built up. Should I be planting these trees? I guess I should. No, don't know how long we'll be here. Yeah, I'll exactly. Yourself one of these flowers. These are from uh, these are from the Botnia mod. 
I'm bees following me. I guess it's because I'm taking his flowers. Fly flower picker. Remember that moment when, like, you first start playing Minecraft and he, like, like your first time finding iron ore in Minecraft. I mean, like, that's that's a special moment. Yeah. Uh oh, there's a jaguar out there in the water swimming around. So we definitely need to start uh, killing any creatures we find. Well, we're gonna need food. Um, if we get some leather, we can start making some backpacks, which will help us out. Oh yeah, we're gonna need food. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit of food, and I'm gonna start replanting these trees too. Oh, there's a horse. Kill it, we need the leather. It's out in the water, I don't think I'll be able to... Uh... Ah. And it is a mo creature's horse. Now, how, how can you tell? Because regular horses, you have to break them by right-clicking them and riding them. Mo creature's horses, you have to... To tame them, you have to uh, feed them. Leave it. carrots or apples. Can't yeah, remember. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, this is a pretty big village. Oh wow, I like, uh, I've never seen that before. Chameleon? That's awesome. Oh, it's changing colors. Yeah, depending Based on. Based on whatever it's on. Well, I mean, it is a chameleon. And what did it give me? It gave me chameleon camouflage dye. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, there was a button I set to make myself camouflage. It's for some uh, item. That was with a primitive mobs mod. Oh, whoever's uh, I got Thamianian, three more glass bottles, two gold ingots, and another knowledge fragment. I mean, the gold ingots we're gonna need for quite a few things. Yeah. You know Looks what's like interesting is when you chop down a tree. Say like, watch my axe is at thirty. 30 blocks right now. So when I cut this tree down, it would go to 29, but it, since that tree was five blocks tall, it used five of my uh, life. So that's that's pretty cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. So if you cool. cut down a huge, you know, quadruple jungle tree, you're probably gonna, you know, lose a whole iron axe. Looks like they were still constructing this, uh, or deconstructing the uh, church. I, I thought I should loot it. In my pagan ways. We will take their women. Yeah, I definitely need uh, to hurry on the food if you can, though, because I don't have you, much There left. is. I don't believe there's any crops, but by chance. Oh, I got nah. wheat. Uh, do you have? Do you think I could borrow two of those gold or those uh, ingots? Probably not. Okay, I got <laughs> four leather. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I can make a fishing pole. Oh, oh, I need yeah. string though. Oh. I might be able to find it somewhere. Yeah, so, uh, this part of the, uh, another part of, uh, one of the villagers' mods adds Damn stables duck. and stuff. Now, so you are gonna focus on food while I do this ship, right? Uh, I do oh, and this is a vanilla I, horse. I, I see some crops over there. Yeah, I just found them. Okay, perfect. Right when you said that. If he was, uh... Let's see. Where's a good place to start building this ship? Oh, another Thaumanian ingot. Exactly. <laughs> Three apples. Now I am about six to apples. starve. Really? Yeah. I am too. I'm, oh, you have more food than me. Okay, yeah, well, I'm harvesting there. Okay, uh, so let's, let's start harvesting. We need to start hunting. We need to uh, grab any flowers that are on this island. Oh! What's, uh oh, one of the farming ones. I might die. Yep. Just dive deep, dive deep. I can't get you. I am, I am, but I, I'm, I'll drown. Need backup? Uh, I might have to eat the food I harvested. That's fine. I. So those things, whatever element they are, that's the best thing to use to kill them. Like if it was the col oh, uh, the uh, ore one, you want the geo one. You want to use a uh, pickaxe. For this one, you want to use an axe. Let me uh, heal up real quick. So 
this is going to be our dock. We'll have a dock leading from our island out to the boat. Make this a little bit bigger. This uh, this plant one, he shoots a vine out. Shoot a vine out. Try to. Steal your life with it. Don't know where he went. Oh, I guess he, something bled up here. Oh, there he is. Oh. Almost got him. Got him. Ooh. Took fall damage. But I showed him who's boss. So we're gonna oh, I already looked in there. This, yeah, this. this I think will, I'll take these. This will be long enough for our Viking Same. raiding ship. Pillage their city. I guess I should have uh, my axe ready to go just in case that happens again. But I'll be nice. I'll replant it. is our mod updater just a little friendly mod that helps you keep track of uh, which mods are out of date which ones are in place let's see I think I just need to go one here and start diving down this way okay, so let's make sure that's even you guys are probably going to realize I'm uh, I'm pretty crazy when it comes to everything have to be even. Bam. Yep, that's going to work just fine. Oh god. Oh. So just to repeat what our mission statement is right now is we're going to we're going to build a boat and we're going to sail from this tiny island that we're stuck on. Um, hopefully with a little help of the locals. And uh, we're going to go out and we're going to find a big land mass. We're going to set up a base. We're going to get uh, our economy kind of up started and going. And uh, we're going to show you guys some of the crazy dungeons that are that are in this. Oh, wow. See, that was perfect. Don't ask me how I do it. I just do it. Like the villagers here like to swim a lot. So we will drown them. That's what you're saying, right? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, they're out here just swimming around. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Goron. Oh, I have an ender. Ender for uh, nine emeralds. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Probably not. Those Gorons, you know, they like to, they like to take your money. Okay, so I think we have actually a really even ship layout here. And uh, it's turning night here, Zach. We're coming back? Yep, headed back right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, that's going to work out pretty good. And you got food, right? I got wheat. How much? That is a good question. I'm swimming right now. But I'll, you know what? I'm going to make a boat. A little tiny boat sail to you much faster and safer. You don't want to be out in these waters just swimming around like the villagers. Never know it's lurking. Oh, there we go. Into the tunnel for safety. Coming. As safe as this freaking tunnel gets, anyway. Lock it off for now. I'm making my way. Sailing away. I got some lag going on Ooh. here. Or, really? Nope. Actually, I do not. Yeah, it looks like I just wasn't destroying the block entirely. Oh, there's another. Oh, nope, okay. There's some lag, I think. Yeah, there is lag. 
I just throw them back a little bit. Found a third village though. Really? I think I'll hit that tomorrow, yeah. That's so dark. Coming. Oh, it looks like there's an eclipse out tonight. I don't know if that's vanilla or not. Wow, that is some intense lag. I and mean, that's one thing that always goes with Minecraft. Minecraft and lag. Weird. I wonder if we're synced up right now. I, I think we are. I mean, once you get to the tunnel, oh. we'll be able to test it. If I can get there in time. You want to help me out? Where you at? I think I'm almost there, but there's tons of uh, mobs out here. Yeah, let me just throw this stuff in there. Okay, I'm there. Okay, I'm there. See me? No, I see a skeleton. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna block that? There's a lot of... It, uh... Okay. A lot of bad guys out there. Welcome to my humble abode. Damn, I see you uh, clear that out. Yeah, are just you, a little bit. Are you able to mine this ore right here? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's cinnabar. That's uh, thumbcraft. I believe so. I, mean, I have to like destroy these blocks twice. Are you seeing this? Nice uh, one copper. Moment. Oh really? Yep. Very nice. And that is the simple ores mod. It adds a uh, tin, copper, um, quite a few actually. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this real quick or sync up. And one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, I was on two. You hit me. What? Really? You're on two. Let me hit you. Not one. Well, use your bare hand, not the pickaxe. That won't hurt. One, two, three. Yeah, a little off. You want to restart it? Uh, let's finish out the night real quick, and then we can actually wrap up this episode, and, and we'll go from there. Okay. Oh, it's all dark. So I was kind of hoping to have the boat finished on the uh, first episode, but it's probably going to oh, yeah. take uh, two or three episodes to probably get the boat done. Um, probably. I love our community ship though, just because it's, I mean, you have a mobile base, I mean, you, you can just go from island to island, dungeon to dungeon, and you can just sail around, I mean, it's it's great. There's uh, some apples there. Said you were hungry. Yeah, took me forever for my guy to pick them up. You still got that wheat? Yes, I do. Let's turn it into some bread, man. I am hungry. And it uh, looks like I do have a little bit of experience, um, due to the fact I've been mining and everything. So real quick, I want to go into uh, the stats here. So when I pull this up, these are all the different skills we can kind of put points into. So instead of you know just enchanting your weapon with your levels, you can actually have skills. Um, and we'll just kind of go through it real quick uh, to make time go by. Uh, mining proficiency, and you can see it costs 6 XP, and it'll make you mine a little bit faster. Same with digging and woodcutting. Uh, because of our tree capacitator, we probably won't be putting any points in <laughs> uh, woodcutting proficiency. Um, then there's also trimming, which is uh, going to make you trim faster. Now, Zach, do you see any any purpose to that? Because isn't trimming an instant? That's what I thought. I I would I don't know maybe for a mod or something. I... Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it maybe. makes the sheep's wool grow back faster. I'm not sure on that one. We'll probably stay away from it. Tough skin is to, uh, take less damage from explosions. That's a huge one. Protection, tech, take less damage from most enemy attacks. Probably going to be the number one I put points into. A2. Tempering is less damage from fire and lava. Uh, athleticism is you can swim faster, climbing faster. Feather fall, take less fall damage from falling. And from different points of high up. So this will be three blocks. Uh, leaper, so you can jump farther while sprinting. And jump higher when sprinting. So those will actually be two really good ones too. I wonder if we uh, kind of put all of our points into this, if we can do some, some crazy athletic 
athleticism, kind of like uh, you know the old Morrowind where you got your athletics super high and you could just jump over mountains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I usually just walked around jumping. Yep, now that's how you did Level it. Up. Uh, swordsmanship is more damage with swords, bow is more damage with bow, and then the reaper is chance to instantly kill enemies with less than 20 health. So that's a pretty cool one. You can instant kill some people. That's a cool special effects one. Uh, you got Mining Magician. Chance to transform an ore when harvesting. That might be kind of interesting to do. And then Stealth. Move faster and reap percent more often when sneaking. So this is like assassin kind of skill. Yeah, we yeah. have uh, Steady Guard is less knockback when blocking. Uh, furnace Finesse. And it makes uh, Furnace's furnace faster <laughs> uh, one one tick faster while you're around them so that's pretty cool if you do a lot of smithing kind of stuff and then this treasure finder it's chance to find additional items when harvesting blocks I mean that is a pretty cool one I'm gonna get that one think, actually, yeah. as soon as I can I'm gonna save up for that I'm gonna put some points in the mining magician though because it'd be cool really? to be mining tin and then boom you might get diamond you might get all kinds of stuff I'm gonna save mine for uh, treasure finder I mean, 0.3% chance is pretty low, so I put Doesn't two even... points. So I got a 0.6% chance that ore will transform in harvesting. I wonder what that, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. See, I don't know. I mean, if you're mining diamond, I mean, that's going to suck if it transforms into copper. <laughs> but uh, I think that's going to be a wrap for uh, this episode. It looks like the sun's probably coming out up there. Um, so this is uh, Herc and Zacula with Olympus Gaming, and we're signing out. Herc out. See you later.